to all of you, and now it's on to Chicago, and let's win there. turning the other cheek and being the constant victim of someone else's brutality. We believe that peace is at hand. We believe that a, an agreement is within sight. Same length. <laughs> you can take a little more off. Buzz, brush, number one. How close is the number one? Oh, about there. Tell you what, how about just above the collar and let me see my ears? What are you doing with yourself now? Well, in about an hour, I'm starting work at the factory. Going into the family business? <laughs> yes, sir, I guess I am. I'm starting work today.
step forward. Raise your arms. Hands toward me. Raise your palms. Back at your sides. Open your mouth. Lift up your tongue. Bring your head forward. Turn your heads to the left. My left. Other side. Tip your head forward. Shake out your hair. Wise guy. Lift up your balls. Turn around, face the wall. Lift up your right leg. Wiggle your toes. Lift up your left leg. Wiggle your toes. Bend over. Bend over further. Spread your cheeks. Cough. Command F2. twice in five years. About the same number of times you use this. <laughs> Ken Fergus. Mike Smith. Nice to meet you. Heard you just signed your life away, Mikey. Hey, Uncle Ed. I volunteered this shift to show you around. Oh, thanks. Who the hell did that to you? That ain't a haircut. That's assault with a deadly weapon. Come on, Thank let's you. go. <laughs> Remember, we're all doing time here, Tiger. Only difference is... We're doing ours on the installment plan. Come on, come on, come on. Pick it up. Let's go. Hold it up. On the gate. I hear you're going to be a father. I'm talking to my pop, huh? Responsibility, Mikey. That's what it's all about, responsibility. Yeah. Yes, sir, Lieutenant. Ten minutes, sir. Yes. Sir. Got some film for me? Of course, we're gonna get a picture in that little phone number, right? <laughs> some kind of a vacation thing for you until something you really want to do comes along? No, Uncle Ed, this is it. I really want this to work. I've been waiting to hear you say that for a long time. One thing, though. In here, not so much of that Uncle Ed stuff, OK? Yeah. This is Times Square, where everything comes together. A block, B block, C block, D block. Administration, exercise yard, armory, hospital, more. For all of you who just arrived, here's a few rules of conduct that might make your stay here a little more pleasant. And ours as well. For instance, this is not state issue, nor this, nor this. The laundry will only launder state issue underwear. Copy that. We wash one shirt and one pair of pants per man per week, plus one set of regulation underwear. I repeat, we do not launder personal underwear or socks. Why? Who said that? Well, well. Look who's here. Some people like us so much, they just keep coming back. What is your question? What if the socks are state issue? No socks 
in any circumstances. You want to wash your socks? Buy yourself a plastic bucket from the commissary. Why we got to do that? Why? Because that's how it is. That's how we do it here. Why is that how we do it? Because that's how we've always done it. Because those are the regulations. And we aren't about to change them for you. Is that clear? Is that crystal clear? All right, back in line. Back in line. There is a door at the end of that corridor, and it leads to an elevator. And the elevator leads to the isolator units, where we put people who keep asking why. And you don't want to go through that door, I promise you. Because the isolator unit is about the most unpleasant place to be in the United States of America. Understand, dig it, comprende, savvy, capiche? You've all been assigned cell numbers. Any questions, ask Mr. Motormouth. He knows the routine. Yo, Yates, move him out and keep a special eye on Mr. Motormouth. The base count off. One, two, three, four. The correctional five, service is going to hell, Mikey, and that's a fact. Time was, they knew their place, and we got on with our job. But now, they're watching all that sex and free love and violence out there, and they want some too. <laughs> There's a very bad element getting into prison Special these days. You ready for showers, Levi? Yes, sir. Lieutenant Wisebad, this is Hal Smith's son. Mike, all right. Yes, sir. Welcome aboard, Mike. How's your dad like in retirement? Fishing good? Uh, there's not much fishing. The bar keeps him pretty busy. You're gonna have to be a pretty big man to walk in house, sneakers. I'll do my best. Okay, Mike. Here's your first assignment. Every resident here is required to take one shower per week. These are yours. Go shower them. Now? Right now. Why not? Uh, well, I, I just got here. I haven't gone through the training program. Mike, this is the training program. What are you going to do when you get out? between officers and inmates. Those are Attica rules. One for go, two for stop. I'm Willis. You're the new guy, Smith, right? Yeah. Yeah. You get the hang of this shit soon enough. If you're warm-blooded, you can sign your name and you can add. This is an easy eight. There's always overtime. Hardly takes a rocket scientist to do this job. What would you and me be doing here? Huh? <laughs> Better get after your crew, Smith. They're probably at the main gate right now. Thanks. Hey, hold it up. Come on, stop. Come on. Good. All right. Can you guys know how to get back to your cell block?
Hey, barkeep, give me a drink. You got ID? Yeah. That's me, right there. How about a whiskey and a beer and a dirty glass? Oh, tough guy, huh? Well, how about I do a tap dance on your head with that bat on it? Show him what you got. <clears throat> hey, no problem. Bunks. Pop. My son. So how'd it go? Uh, first day, you know. <laughs> yeah. Al? Yeah. I'll be right back. I want to hear all about it. And you look beat. Uh, I tell you, it ain't like anything I thought it would be. Your old man had 25 years in that place. He never talked about it when he came home. So what's the deal in there? Can we talk about something else? Yeah. Sure. Just it's, it's an easy eight. And you don't have to be a rocket scientist. and. You probably get used to it in about 150 years. So, um, you want to tell me about it? So I'll call you later, Mike, right? Thanks, Hal. Uh, Pop, I gotta be getting back. It's, uh, qu quite a place. It's a factory, you know? Yeah, it sure is. Thanks for the drinks. the biggest prison break in the history of the New York penal system. Ah, <laughs> oh, marching these 30 guys out of the shower. I don't know what I need, just about the longest shower I ever took. Place, there's lots of bad guys who don't want to be in there, and that's about it. Kodak is still taking people on. Sure. We've been through that. You want to be a prison guard the rest of your life? Corrections officer. Honey, is that what you want to do with the rest of your life? Nothing much else worked out, did it? Yo, Captain. Got a little problem here, sir. You're not supposed to talk to me. I'm not supposed to talk to you. You know that. Yeah, but I got this situation, sir. You got a problem. You take it up, Lieutenant Rounds. Hey, my toilet bowl's plugged up, sir. I'm in here 23 hours a day. I got to do something about this. Uh, okay. I didn't hear you. 
I missed my shower. No. You say you wish to report a hygiene deficiency situation. I wish to report a... I can't hear you. I wish to report a hygiene deficiency situation. Occasioned by. By the fact I was in the goddamn metal shop. You gotta case, say, but... occasioned by. I wish to report a hygiene deficiency situation occasioned by the fact I what was is in the goddamn metal shop. What is it? got a problem on 31. His toilet's backing up. I walk this to your son. There's nothing wrong here. Nobody's got a legitimate bitch unless I say so. Police uh, tower is the bad. exercise of the sovereign right of the government. What we have here is an inmate trying to jerk a new officer around, that's all. And the no, 31! Waste any more of my officer's time, your ass is gonna get clamped! Big time! They do it on purpose. They stuff their shirts in the can. Why would he do that? Because they're them and we're us. Because their job is to piss us around, and our job is not to let them do that. Don't be getting into a debating club with the inmates, son. It's, it's backing up all over his floor, sir. You don't want to be worrying about him. You know what he's in here for, don't you? I don't want to know. I just want to do my job. I can't see how knowing what he's in here for is going to make a difference. I was a reporter. Smith, you fill out this job slip for a block drain on C block? Yes, sir. Officer Yates says he told you no action need be taken. Mr. Ramirez's toilet was backing up Mr. all over. Mr. Ramirez? You've got a little bleeding heart thing going on here, Smith. No, sir, just trying to do my job. You haven't been here long enough, son, to know what your job is yet. I am negatively impressed by this attitude. You like this attitude? This is not a good attitude. You telling us how to walk a tear? No, sir. Good. Now let's go see if your heart's in the right place and how heavy your balls hang. Hook, 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 two, three, four. Bishop, on the floor. Track 24. You got some out of cell time, Mohammed. Smith, cuff him. Belt. Ankles. Chain. Billy Bishop from New York City. Jamal X, political prisoner of the White Devils. Freedom fighter, member of the Black Resistance. The liberation. The only thing you ever liberated, Bishop, was your own mother's fanny when you put it on the street to pay for your habit. Yeah, come on, come on, don't be a panty waste. Try it. Huh? Come on. Here we go again. Another petition. Request denied. The rules on what the prison laundry will accept and what they want are quite clear. How about our other demands? Demands. I need to know your response to the Attica Liberation Movement's demands for better treatment. You do not make demands. And you do not circulate petitions inside this facility. And from now on, you will not hold meetings in the yard and you will not wear a uniform. Gray pants and white shirts are prison issues. Not how you militants and troublemakers wear them. We press our pants and change our shirts when we can. Now, you people are turning into a problem again, my friend. Well, how are you going to deal with the problem, Mr. Superintendent? Keep us on the move inside the system. Should you continue with your subversive and disruptive activities, you will be subject to immediate transfer to another prison. 
The effect will not be unlike that of having your nuts caught in a revolving door. We demand better food. We demand better medical facilities. We demand an end to censorship of inmate attorney correspondence. We demand the right to worship how we please. We demand a rehab system that works. We demand Spanish-speaking officers for our Latino brothers. Latino brothers. My staff spends half their time keeping you and the Puerto Ricans from killing each other. <laughs> our solidarity scares you chain them to the flow, motherfuckers, don't it? You like us at each other's throats, makes us easier to control. Is that it for today? You got anything else, anything new? You run out of time, Mr. Superintendent. This is Attica. We're not gonna blink. Smith? Now tell him to drop him. Go on. Drop him. Now tell him to spread them. Tell him to spread them real wide. So wide, we can see the sun coming up. Do you have a problem with this, Officer Smith? Are your panties too tight? Spread them. Tell him wider. Wider. And again. Wider. You got a girlfriend, man? You got a family? You tell them you look up people's asses all day? Turn around! Sergeant Yates tells me you got a problem knowing what these men are in here for. Maybe that's because as long as you can tell yourself they're just men and not inmates, you can also kid yourself into believing you're not a guard. I said turn around! You're wearing the blue now, son, and that makes you one of us. And there ain't no way around that. <laughs> Get him good, son. Lose one cell and we lose a tear. Lose the tears and we lost the yards. Lose the yards. We lost the prisons. Lose them. And we've lost America. Understand? We've got a civil war going on in this country, son. This is where we're gonna hold the line. Got it now?
got a pretty good voice. The hell the hell's he doing? Well, I don't think Sinatra's worried, but we can always use another baritone. No, I don't mean that. I mean, how's he doing on the job? He's got shoulders, he's got balls, and he's learning the right attitude. He's gonna be great! He yeah. lost his cherry! <laughs> Hey, Blair Keith! Line me up, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Michael, Michael, Michael. Uh, you've been hitting pretty hard. Don't you think you ought to ease up just a little bit? No, oh, Bob, this job, you work up a thirst. You should know. All right. I want to tell you one thing. I want to ask you in a nice way. Don't embarrass me or share it. All right? Doing. You having a good time? Cut it out. Oh my gosh. What does that mean you lost your cherry? It means there was some trouble on one of the tiers today and I got involved. Got involved, how? Huh? I maced a PR. It was struggling and I was there and I did it and it's what I get paid for. So. You, you maced a PR? A Puerto Rican. Like, you don't have to know about this, you know. Michael, I don't know about what you do and that's not good enough for me. But it's not me. I didn't grow up here. I didn't grow up expecting to be the wife of a prison guard. It's too bad, isn't it? You know something? It is too bad. Hey, Sharon. Hey, where are you going? Oh. Hey, this is upstate New York. We hunt, we fish, we drink, and we lock people up for the rest of the state. That's what we do. You're changing. They're doing something to you. Oh, not change. This isn't another job. I put my life in those guys' hands every day. And you don't talk about it, not to your wives, especially not to your wives. I don't want to bring this home. They are taking you away from me, and I want you back. Don't you give up on this marriage. I'm not giving up on this marriage. I am making money. I am working for you and for him. If you weren't having this baby, we wouldn't be having this discussion. But it's not the way it is, is it? I just don't want to talk about it now, Sharon. Don't. Look at here. Contraband. I got a bad gut. I can't eat that shit in the jaw hole. We have an illegal device there. Why does the commissary sell cans of soup? If you can't heat the shit up. Guess that's one of the mysteries of the penal system, my friend. You're gonna walk to the hole, we're gonna have to carry you. Fuck you. I'll brand your ass, motherfucker! I want hot soap! Hot soap! Hot soap! You got it, motherfucker! Hot soap! My fucking stomach is killing me! Hot soap! Watch your asses in here today, gentlemen. Some clown tried to brain Officer Yates with a can of soup. When we tried to grab the perp in the yard, we damn near had a riot on our hands. Ed Smith is gonna lift him on his way out of Chow Hall with a snatch team. First sign of any trouble, we'll go to general lockdown. So stay cocked, locked, and ready to rock. Question, Lieutenant. What kind of soup? Tomato condensed. Is that important, Fergus? Details. I like details. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So what do we do if there's any trouble? The procedure is cover your balls and run to the walls. That's it? Don't you get it yet? You don't run this joint, they do. We feed them, water them, make sure the roof don't leak. Anytime they want to take this place over, I reckon we got 30 seconds to hit the street. You 
told Willis what's going down? No, no, hell no. I thought you'd... Jesus, the attic of follies. Let's go. Willis doesn't have a clue what's going on. Make control problem here. Officers are down. Request permission to issue firearms. Affirmative. Is this it, William? The big one? Negative. We have it contained. Armorer, why is bad? <laughs> It's 
for Scorpion. now. They've taken deep lock. I don't know if we can hold the rest. Get off! Get off! Get off. Get off. Get off. 
No, look, we gotta stop this shit. What the fuck is your problem? We need these things, not me. So what else we got to negotiate with? Are the walls secure? Is this thing contained yet? It's being contained, sir. We stopped them at the gate. The sound of powerhouse whistle. thousand years ago, the birthplace of democracy. Every few years, all rays converge and the planet gets another chance. I used to think it was Woodstock. It's here, man. It's Attica. Is that so? You, you ever heard of Spartacus? This is it. This is one of the great slave revolts. Nothing's gonna be the same after this. You want me to stitch that up? Okay. You sure? Oh. They took the yard. The son of a bitch just took the yard. Are you okay, Ed? I'm a hurting unit, Mikey. That's a fact. You the ones wearing prison blues now, you understand? Now wait a minute. You keep your mouth talking, and you leave here like him. Let's go, make a move. Get him out, let's go. Make a move, let's go. Look at his head. 
Cover his face. Is he dead? You shut your mouth. I'll hang you upside down. And I'll cut your throat and empty you out like a hog. <laughs> Dan, what happened to your parents? Shut up, Michael. Hold it up. We don't get a vote. We don't get a say so. You want him to die in here? Let me see the hand. Every man wants him to die in here. Find them. Wait a second. They shoot their way in and join those rioters in there. We got a revolution on our hands. Listen, Sarge, my best buddy's in there. Get moving, that's an order. Yes, sir. There's another poor yes. son of a bitch they just tossed head first through a window. Hey, wait a minute, lady. Please get back. Come on, come on, Jack. Come on, come on. Keep this area clear. It's my husband. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. We, we gotta clear him. We gotta get him in the ambulance. Stand them down? Yes. The procedure is to go in hard and fast, take out their ringleaders, evacuate our personnel. I'm not doing this your way. Look, my way is the book way. And the book says we do it this way, or we put every officer in every prison in danger. The governor has agreed to let me try another way. Now, his instinct is to go in now. But I convinced him that we could do this without bloodshed, without further harm to your men. Your way doesn't work, does it? If it did, we wouldn't be here. Sit. 
Now you the niggas now. You white boys gonna find out what it feel like to have the complexion for the connection. Only this time the shit be flying in the right direction. I'd smoke your ass right now. But while we negotiate, sit down. We need your ass. Bullshit. The department doesn't negotiate. That's policy. This man is Mr. William Kunstler. He's our man. Well, it looks like to me they're negotiating. Here's a list of our demands. Provide adequate food, water, and shelter for all inmates. Chow time! There you go, chow time, baby! Oh, chow time! Now tell me, anybody need a shower? Raise your hand if you need a shower. <laughs> so too bad, this is Attica, you got to wait a week. <laughs> you ain't got no pants, sister Sergeant. You gonna get your little pink willy frost bit. You want some pants? Screw really you. Well, well, what we have here, we got some pants. Why they just your size, big and dumb. What you say? Yeah, sure. Give me the pants. Yeah, well, this being Attica, it ain't so simple, see? See, when you put in a request, you got to do it by article rules. You got to say something like, negatively impacted Just as I am. Oh, uh -uh. you say, negatively impacted as I am through a shortfall of covering to my little pink willy. I, I ain't saying that. I humbly and respectfully request a pair of pants, Mr. Cecil, sir! I humbly. I can't hear you. I humbly. I said I can't hear you. I humbly and respectfully request a pair of pants. Mr. Cecil, sir. <laughs> oh, what about your little pink willy? <laughs> I do not want my pink willy for us, man. I don't blame you. It ain't much, but it's yours, right? <laughs> Put the pants on. Hey, we just having some fun, Chuckles. They get me to have some fun, too. You are not alone. The world is watching. Yeah! We have assurances from Governor Rockefeller that there will be no force used to retake the prison while negotiations continue. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, right. Malanka, yeah. power to the people! Clinton, whatever that shit means. This is a shout of protest, a cry. All right, I want you to report exactly what you see in here, all right? This what the well-dressed hostage is wearing this year? You want some shoes, man? I don't want them, no. Michael? You some kind of hippie pig? It's all right to ask for shoes, man. You the new guy, right? It's okay to ask for shoes. Tell him it's okay. Ask for the shoes, Mike. Do it, Michael. I'm not asking for shoes. Stop the camera. Turn it off. Look, you're gonna be here till we get what we want. You got an attitude problem? I don't have an attitude. Correction. You do have an attitude. What you don't have is something on your feet. You got one last chance to ask for shoes. Not asking. Then you ain't good. Y'all come with me. I got something to show you over here. Shut up. 
should have taken the shoes, Mike. And why didn't you? Look, you're just fooling with this, see? I mean, you gotta, you gotta put yourself in their situation. No, it's not right. Load of armed revolutionaries I can find, sir. Okay, I got something else for you. Something important. Thank you, Governor. How long we expected to keep on talking? We'll stay here as long as it takes. They have no heating in their cells. The parole rate is half that of any other institution in the state. And why, why aren't they allowed to have more than one roll of toilet paper every eight weeks? Why only one shower a week? No wonder you had an uprising here. This is a prison riot. It's not an uprising or a revolution, or a negotiation. The riot is all those armed men outside the walls waiting for revenge. Nobody is going to take revenge. There are going to be no reprisals. Why aren't Spanish-speaking inmates allowed to send or receive mail? They're allowed as much mail as anybody else. My problem is I don't have any Spanish-speaking officer to censor it. So, so they can write letters, they just can't mail them. And, and, and their relatives can send them as much mail as they like. It's just that you don't deliver them. Has anything changed in the prison system? Is anything going to change? Write this down. Five bear claws, three cinnamon twists, six hot dogs with everything. I'm asking you to think again, Commissioner. You did it your way, now do it the book way. One way or another, we're going to have to go in there. We're going to have to go over the wall. The longer we delay, the more dangerous it's going to be. They got barricades, gas bombs. They got a guy building a, a, a rocket launcher or something. I'm going to negotiate this all the way. It's my officers' lives you're negotiating, God damn it! Shit out, go! Shit out, go! Yo, go! Get up! Yo, go! Look, they got the lieutenant. Look what we found thanks to the geniuses on your side. Pigs gave us a list of all the piglets unaccounted for. His name's on the list. We went looking, found his dumb ass hiding under a bench in the metal shop. Have any of you men been injured? They've all been treated fairly, just as you'll be. Nobody's been chained, and nobody's been made to spread them. Come on, you're next. No. Come on, man, take a dog. It's OK. Take a leak. No, I ain't going. Not here. You're going to tear your insides all up. What's the problem here? Man, don't like the facilities. Look, you guys better straighten them out, or we will. OK, what's gotten into you now? You're trying to act like a hero. You make us look bad. I'm trying to be a hero, Ed. Lieutenant, will you tell him he's got to use a can sometime? He's making him mad. You heard your uncle. Get on the pot. That's an order. All right, you had your chance. Let's go. Let's go. Move it out. Everybody, let's go. Let's go. Get them out of here. Get this crowd back here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. Move it. Why aren't you wearing shoes? Is it because I took the pants? Is that what's going on? It's just me. Where are his shoes? Sit down! Sit down! Sit down! Sit down! 
gave my life to this department. I trusted the son of a bitches. They always told me if anything happens, we go in, we don't talk, and we don't make deals. Well, they betrayed us, damn it. The lousy, rotten son of a bitch and bastards. Shit can that kind of talk. You're giving the orders now, but we have a code of honor here. Get some shoes on your feet. I don't have shoes because I won't beg for them. Take some pride in yourself, son. For morale purposes, how you look is very... How I look? What are we, a bunch of civilians? I gave you an order. Get some shoes on your I don't want shoes! I gave you an order! Michael, why don't you just think about what your dad would be doing if he were here? He'd be thinking for himself. That's what he'd be doing. If I have to suck the cock of every man on this yard to get out of here, I'll do it. And I won't give a thought about it when I get out. Nobody's gonna have to suck anybody's cock. What happened to self-respect here? Pride in yourself, pride in your unit. Nothing we do here says anything one way or the other about us. Huh? What the hell is he talking about? It's not about proving things. Then what is it about? God damn it! Son! Fuck him! Fuck him! Let him go! Let him go! Who's one of us? Let him go! Get him! Hey, that's the third time he tried that on somebody. This dude is out of control. I'll deal with him. You can't have him in the yard, man. Shut up! can't have him in general population. I said I'd take care of him. Let him go. Think he's got an angle? What's going on? An angle? Make him so pissed off with him, they'll let him go. <laughs> Knew a guy in Nam once. <laughs> Tied his pecker to a doorknob. Sprained it so bad he was on the next plane home. <laughs> I don't get out of here because somebody wants to be a hero. I'm gonna be one son of a bitch hard to please corpse, I tell you. Either he pulls with us or we cut him loose. You know? Maybe that rookie took a bigger bang upside his head. Yeah, there's something wrong with him, that's for sure. I say we take care of him. Get him quiet. Take him back to one of the cell blocks. Look, he ain't that big a problem. Hey, man, say you got in a brother's face and a brother cut him. Then all this shit'll go down. They just waiting for something like that. Then nobody gets out of here. Shit, see? You ain't figured this shit out yet? Nobody gets out of here. It can't be. It never could be. Let me talk to him. What's your name, man? Warner. What's your name? Michael Smith. Will Smith. Used to be a sissy on D-Block. About to take it in the mouth and the ass at the same time. Is that your problem? Hmm? You want us on your case and your buddies, too? You looking to piss everybody off? No, I'm not trying to piss anybody off. Well, what you need to be trying to do is go long. You understand? You're a bishop, right? Mm -mm. No, that ain't my name. Yeah, you know, you're sure a good example of going along. You trying to get killed, man? Is that what you looking to do? I want out of here. Now, you can kill me. You can take my life. When you've done that to me, that's all you can do. I got nothing left to lose. So why don't you leave me alone unless you're going to tell me I'm getting out of here because I got nothing more to say to you. Yes? How's it going, Sharon? Well, I've had better days, that's for sure. And how's that baby? Handling it better than any of us. <laughs> so have you heard anything? Anybody said anything about when you're going in? You're still talking as far as I know. No, I think it's gonna be okay. 
We've got a contingency plan for these kind of things. I'm, he's going to be all right. Well, that's nice to know. Is there a contingency plan for losing the prison in two minutes flat? Now, what's that supposed to mean? You know exactly what that means. Now, you listen to me. Maybe we've got a generational difference. But I tend not to believe that every man in prison is a miscarriage of justice. And the guys keeping him in there are the bad guys. You know something, Hal? I don't know about the good guys and the bad guys. I just know I have a husband in there. Well, your husband is my son. And I got a brother in there. I'm sorry. You heard about what's going on in there? Heard a lot of bullshit talk. I know that much. This isn't bullshit, my friend. Do you know something? Don't listen to me. What do you know? Maybe I do and maybe I don't. What I say is they got no business negotiating. We're going to be going back in there with a bullet for everybody in the yard. Oh, is that right? We do it now, we do it later. Later ain't going to be no use. Am I right, Hal? Now, wait, 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 wait a minute, Frank. We got a lot of the angry guys in there, black Muslims, Panthers, young lords, besides your average anti-social. So we got to go in, right? Clean their clocks. You know what, Yates? Mikey and those guys don't get out of there in one piece. It's gonna be because of loudmouths like you. You got a bad conscience because hey, you hey. didn't go in straight away. You got a hey, bad conscience because hey. you don't know how to run your prison. Both of you, sit down. Sit down, Frank, or you're both out of here. This is my bar. We got a war going on here already. He's out of line. You tell him. Come on, help me here. Both out of line, Frank. Just settle down, all right? I guarantee you one thing. I'm going to be there the minute we take the prison back. They've had their say. Now I'm going to have mine. Whatever they've done to Michael and our boys, they've got a payback coming. Am I right? Would you shut up? Maybe they haven't done anything yet. Frank, they don't have any proof. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake! They got photos of some of the fucking hostages strung up with their fucking cocks cut off and stuffed in their fucking mouths. They've been killing one of them every couple of hours. You asshole. You want to step outside and call me a fucking asshole? Jess, let's go. Let's go. Jess, let's go. 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 We agreed on 28 of your demands. Everything from a ban on censorship of mail to Spanish language television programs. But we can't go forward on anything else until we get something back. We get some of those men out of here. What about a guarantee against reprisals? You've got a court order barring the prison administration from taking any such action. Shit, a court order. It ain't nothing but a piece of paper. Now, how's that gonna stop one of Mancusi's gorillas from putting his gas gun up my ass? Now, what the fuck about amnesty? Offenses connected with the takeover will have to be investigated. So, no amnesty? I can't guarantee it. Well, what about the governor? Can't he guarantee it? He has the power, yes. But is he gonna use it? Oh, man, they've been jiving us all along. They've just been waiting for us to crack, then they go walk in here and start breaking heads. We gotta string a few of those up. We gotta show them what we mean business. We want a plane to take us to Africa, and we want it now. Africa? Hell, man, I'm from Washington Heights. And I'll fight any man to try to put me on a plane to Africa. You know who scares me the most, Mr. Oswald? It's not these guys. I can live with them. I got no problem here. It's those gorillas up there! It's there! I bent, and I bent, and I bent. 
I can't bend anymore. It's in your hands now. Give me one hostage. Just one. Hey, listen up. And let a real man speak. I'm 55 years old. I got one son in here, two more in federal prisons. I've had nine grandchildren. Three shot by police. Come on, teach on, teach on. Put it up there. Freedom bell rang four days ago. Mm. But I bit my back over this broom for so long until I didn't know no better than to keep a hold of it. Mm. Teach on that broom, my brother. Teach on that broom. Come on. If they won't let you live like me, you can show as hell mm. die like me. Well, all right. Chester General. Officer Willis died of head injuries an hour ago. One of my men just died, Governor, and I'm under a lot of pressure to go in now. But I really think another day, a couple of days, could make the difference. It's starting to rain now, and I... Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, I understand that, sir. I understand you're under a lot of pressure, too. And I realize you can't offer amnesty, but I'm not asking for that. No, sir. No, I... Yes, yes, sir, I think you have to come up here in person. No, 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 not to negotiate. I'm not sure, I'm not sure there's anything left to negotiate on. But if the, if the governor came in person and showed us concern, I'm sure... Th I understand the perception problem, sir, but, but I'm concerned for the, for the hostages. Yes, and I have nothing else to offer the men that are holding them except your personal involvement. Yes. Yes, sir, I, I, I have everything I need to, to retake the facility if I should decide. But I think we... Well... Yes. Yes, sir, I understand. Very good.
governor is about to announce a commission of inquiry into the riot and the events leading up to it. He has every confidence we will both be vindicated. I'm going to see Willis's wife. I'm sorry. You didn't know him. He coached my kids' little league team. His daughter babysat for us. I just need another day. You don't have it. What do you think is going to happen when word gets out that every man in the yard is now facing murder one? You ran out of road, Commissioner. I was right to wait. I was right to negotiate. Tell that to Willis's wife and kids. Everybody goes down on murder one. Under New York state law, every man in this yard is culpable for every felony committed in it, including homicide. They're gonna put 2,000 guys on trial? You wanna take a chance, they won't. It's going down, isn't it, Lieutenant? <laughs> they got nothing to lose now. When I was in Vietnam, I used to get a pain in my left nut just before we took incoming fire. I got it again. Smith! I'm still gonna have to write you up when we get out of this. You know that. You realize that. Conduct prejudicial to good order, endangering your fellow officers, you tearing down the rally of colleagues. Do, Lieutenant. Somebody make a note of this! This is just the kind of attitude I'm talking about. Insubordination by an officer. Take it off case. this case. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to hold it together, Dr. Head. We're die. like Kunich. You know, you're right. I don't have what it takes. I wasn't a guard long enough to know how to be a prisoner. What does that mean? It means you were so good at giving orders, you knew how to take them. Me too, Michael. Couldn't be any other way, Ken. <laughs> Screw you, asshole. I don't know who the hell you are, Michael. I watch you grow up. And I don't know who you are. And I don't know what you're doing. He's pissing in the tent. That's what he's doing now. Pissing in the tent, huh? Look at him. Is the governor coming? I need to know the governor's on his way. Is he coming? night white picket fence look about you and you also got a big mouth blindfolded where are you taking him he's just a recruiter a, a rookie you take anybody you take me oh i'm gonna take you you can bet your sweet ass i'm gonna take you i'm gonna take all of you but first i gotta deal with this one get him out of here <sighs> you you don't understand i i'm responsible for him you leave him here Stay here, Smith! That's an order! I'm, I'm senior in command here. You take me first, you sons of bitches! This is not right. This is not correct. I know. I know. Get back here, Smith! 
I'm gonna kick your ass so far out of the Department of Corrections! You won't fucking work from here to San Quentin! Do something to me. I want a chance to write to my dad and to my wife and say goodbye. We ain't gonna kill you. Not yet, anyhow. We gonna put you on TV. Now, maybe you got nothing to say to me, but you gonna tell Governor Rockefeller we mean business. We want amnesty. We want a plane waiting to take every man who wants to go to Africa. You tell Governor Rockefeller he got to come up here in person. Make sure his goons don't take no reprisals on any man who wants to stay. You put me on TV? We got to put a face on it, man. They got to know who's going to be paying if the governor don't come through. We signed petitions and they didn't listen. We played it their way and they didn't listen. We told them this was coming down. You understand me? We told them this was coming down and they didn't listen. And you want to know something? They still ain't listening. Got somebody here who wants to speak. Come on up here. My name is Michael Smith. Uh, I got a message for Governor Rockefeller. They want a plane to take him to Africa. And they want that the governor comes here in person uh, to guarantee that there's no reprisals on the men who stay behind. Um, uh, they'll start killing us if they don't get the answer that they want. How about these stories about atrocities? They keep telling people guards are being tortured. Uh, no, uh, there's been nothing like that. Have any of the guards been mistreated here? Have you been mistreated? Well, we've been kept in the yard here for four days. We didn't want to be here. Have you been mistreated? Uh, no. You gave us food and water and protection. What's the mood among the hostages? Have they lost hope? No. Oh, we're just taking each hour as it comes. We're still expecting to get out of this thing. All right, that's it. Let's go. You have a message for anyone, Michael? A personal message? I don't know if my wife is watching this, but um, I want her to know that I'm thinking about her and the baby she's going to have. And if this doesn't um, if this doesn't go the way I want it to go, then I want I want her to know that I I would like to have spent more time with her and I would like to have seen my son. All right, show's up. Come on. Ain't right keeping us here. I mean, there's a lot of things wrong here, and they need fixing, but this isn't the way to do it. I mean, you know, getting a knife stuck at your throat and, and having to go to the john in front of everybody, that's a human rights thing too, but I understand, you see, a man doesn't stop being a man because he's in here, and, and why shouldn't he have more than one shower a week and, and get to have some contact with the guards, and, and he shouldn't have to be in a cell with a clogged up toilet. God, I hope this is over soon, because we can't take much more, and, and they can. And if you come in here with guns, there's going to be a lot of folks ain't going to be going home. Why you say that, huh? You just trying to get some special favors, huh? No, talk to, I said what you told me to say, amnesty. No, 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 not that other shit. They asked me, and I told them. You believe that? Why would I lie? You know something? You're crazy, and they're crazy. You want amnesty for Willis, but you know they're not going to put 2,000 of you up on trial. You drop that demand, we can walk out of here. Weisbad is over there trying to figure out how to put me up on a charge. You know something? Maybe I'm craziest of all, because I came to work here for the overtime. And I shut my eyes to what goes on in here, and I started doing to my wife exactly what I saw my dad doing to my mother. <laughs> Maybe I'm craziest of all. 
because I'm trying to talk a crazy man out of his craziness. You know what that makes me, don't you? You don't call me crazy. We could walk out of here right now if you dropped that demand, but you'd rather die than do that. That sounds pretty crazy to me. We want respect. We want dignity. You are gonna get blown away. You understand? You see the people up there? I grew up here. I understand these people. I know my people. What do you know about us? What do you know about us? You see, I can't talk to you. I can't make you understand. You are one stubborn son of a bitch. We got to play this to the bust, man. My kid got more sense than you. He ain't even been born yet. Come here. I got something I want to show you. We were going to do it different. We were going to show how it could be. And we got nowhere talking and started breaking up. Somebody takes his payback on a snitch. And then somebody else. This fool here. He just wanted to cut somebody, and we couldn't make him see reason. It wasn't meant to be like this. This was Attica. It was something else. You better get on back. saying you're gonna do something so god damn it just do it whatever it takes just do it all right sir it's out of my hand move on sir
body bags. Lady tells, corn fed, white picket fence. I put up with them burning their bras, playing that crazy music, and long hair and flared trousers, and going on the pills so they could do it whenever they wanted, even if they want to do it in the street. And this one talking about his rights, and that one talking about his, and nobody caring about mine. I've been waiting for this day. This is get right day. This is where it stops. It stops right here. Our guys are in there. And they've just got to take their chances, don't they? out of here and I don't. Tell my family I cared. They gotta know I cared and I was thinking about it. Okay. Would you do the same for me if you tell my wife? You dumb 
Everybody fucked up from the top down. I don't want to ever hear anything more about it. All right? Okay, yeah. 